In today's video I'm going to tell you how you can perhaps win one of these 3D printers. This is a Snapmaker 2.0. We're giving away three of them at MyMiniFactory.com. Um, believe it or not, that is over $9,000 in prizes, uh, which is, I think, mind-blowing. So keep watching for how to enter. It is really super simple. Thanks for watching. Uh, perhaps you have seen my last video in which I showed you my Snapmaker 2.0, the A350. Now, what is cool about this video is that you can win one of those machines. You can actually, I'm giving away three of these machines. What do you need to do? You need to go to the link in the video description box, which takes you to myminifactory.com over there. I'm hosting this uh, competition together with my mini factory and together with Snapmaker. And we want to see what you have done to improve your RC truck, your RC trail truck in this case. So we would just want to have trail trucks that we're going to put up against each other. Uh, and we just want to see what you did 3D printing wise to improve your trail truck. Now this is not uh, about you needing to design a part. It's also not about you having to uh, buy a file at uh, my mini factory. This is all about us just wanting to see how you improve your truck using 3D printing. So you can have some parts on it that you perhaps purchased. Uh, perhaps it's something that you drew up yourself. Perhaps your cousin did it. Uh, perhaps you bought it second hand. It really doesn't matter if it is 3D printed and it's on your truck. We just want to see it. It of course helps if your truck has, for example, a nice paint job because that always sort of like attracts the eye. It also really helps if your truck is not sitting on top of a washing machine or a kitchen counter. So if you actually have it out on the trails, take some nice pictures of it, have a clear description of what you use. So for example, if you use a Traxxas TRX4, maybe you use an Axial SE Extend version two, version one, version three, a Vetera Ascender, really doesn't matter. We just want to have some sort of uh, spec on your truck, maybe have some different wheels and tires as well. Just let us know as much info as possible because I think that that will make the future videos a bit more interesting. Because I'm going to select a few trucks uh, that I'm going to highlight in some of the future videos uh, just to see uh, well, what you did to, uh, to improve your RC truck using anything uh, 3D printed and then, uh, well, in those episodes as well, I will announce a winner to one of those uh, three machines. I'm not sure how many episodes that's going to be, but this competition is at least going to run until uh, early July. So there's plenty of time to enter, plenty of time to get out and take some good pictures of your uh, trail truck. Now, uh, my mini factory, I have already mentioned them. What is my mini factory? My mini factory is basically a really high quality 3D file library where you can uh, purchase files from some of the most known 3D file uh, makers uh, in our hobbies. Like for example, Night Customs, uh, RC Nerds, all of those files are available over there. I put my TRX4 over here as well. These are not files that I printed myself, but these are some of the Night Customs parts that I bought in the past uh, just to enhance the look of this truck. But seeing that right now I have my own 3D printer, it will allow me to use the files that I can purchase at my mini factory and uh, customize my trucks right from my own studio, just using my uh, 3D printer. Turning it on, going doing something else, and then coming back to hopefully uh, a well-executed file. Now, not everything went flawless. Uh, so far, you see on this uh, Jeep Gladiator, my Axial Gladiator, you can tell that there's a rooftop tent on it, which is from uh, Night Customs, and also a uh, snorkel. I'll turn it around a bit so you can see it. You can also see that there's a rooftop tent over here, which is not quite as well executed. What happened? Um, what happened is uh, the Snapmaker comes with some slicing software. Slicing software Slicing software, slicing software gives you the opportunity to sort of have uh, some sort of indication on how long a print is going to take, how much filament it is going to use, 
and you can also address the quality in your uh, slicer software. Now Luban is the slicer software that comes with the Snapmaker. Uh, it is really good, um, as in it is pretty intuitive. It gives you three different settings. Uh, one of them is fast, one of them is uh, normal, and one of them is like super fine. Uh, and of course also according to which setting you use, uh, the time of your print, so the, the expected time that it will take to execute a print goes up. Because of course a fine print takes more time than a fast print. That's also why it's called a fast print. What I did, and there was like a test file, that's also why there's this little vase standing over it. There's a test file that you can run that is already inside a Luba, uh, and that is this vase. Now, I was so impressed with the quality of this vase uh, that I just used this exact same setting to go and print my rooftop tent, which was very dumb. Um, what happens when you do that is you have no infill. This is, of course, a vase, so it is hollow. Um, and me using the exact same setting, I was halfway printing this, uh, thinking, I wonder how it is going to solve the whole top part of this rooftop tent. This is me having zero experience with uh, 3D printing, not understanding how it works. You need to have some sort of support or infill on the inside of this print for it to turn out successful. So this was a complete dud because when it needed to print the top section of this uh, rooftop tent, it had nothing to hold on to. And uh, well, it turned out uh, like this. I did want to show it to you just because I think it's uh, uh, a useful uh, showcasing of my lack of experience, but also of like kind of the learning curve that you will go through. So then I did uh, manage to pull out a successful print. So I managed to uh, print this, which is uh, printed in normal quality with 10% uh, infill. You need to play around with those settings a tiny bit. So you need to play around with what type of quality you want to have. Also the percentage of the infill really determines how heavy the piece is going to be, how much filament you're going to use, and also how much time it is going to take for uh, the snap maker to print the item or, or any type of 3D printer, but in my case, of course, my snap maker. So um, this took, I think, 14 hours, something like that. Uh, turned out really good, nice and solid. It's not super heavy. I put the infill on this on a 10% rather than a 15, which is a standard. If you copy a setting in Luban, you can address all of the parameters. That's the only thing in Luban that I did not find super intuitive. You need to actually uh, copy a profile before you're able to uh, address any of the other uh, parameters. So for example, in the normal setting, uh, standard, I believe the infill is set at 15%. Uh, when you then copy that setting, uh, copy that entire profile, once you have it copied, you can bump that down to 10 or 8 or whatever you want. I thought 10 was like good because uh, I want to have something that does take some sort of beating in case I roll this truck and uh, it will do it like this. Another part that I printed is uh, the snorkel on the front. I also used the snap maker to, uh, to make this. I could have perhaps angled this a bit differently or executed some more patience and printed it in fine quality. Uh, but overall, I'm not unhappy and I kind of like how this uh, turned out. Uh, you do need to use some supports just because uh, if you don't use any supports, which are basically some tiny legs that will get printed uh, when you're printing, uh, if you don't use any supports, there's nothing for the printer to hook the filament onto. So you end up with something that looks again like that first rooftop tent that I just showed you. You don't want to do that. Now, once this is done, you can use putty, you can use primer, you can smooth this out. You can also use something else uh, to smooth it out. And that's something that we will look into in the next video. In the next video, I don't just want to talk about filament printing, but we're also going to have a look at uh, resin printing. I have a resin printer. I did some, uh, some testing already. So these, uh, this is, for example, this is a Max Trax, like a sand ladder, uh, also from a Knight Customs. And this is uh, like a tool set, like a little axe, a shovel, a high lift jack, also from Knight Customs. So this attaches to the side of the cage over here on the Gladiator. And this I printed using a resin printer. Now, resin printing is completely different from uh, filament printing. Uh, that's also why I don't want to 
sort of like look into that in this video but uh, we will do that in the next video but it's also a lot of fun and resin can be used to enhance your uh, filament prints which is also something that we will look into in uh, the next episode uh, in the meantime i will print a few more items using my uh, snap maker it is really addicting to uh to have a machine and to have the opportunity to print whatever you want at home uh, this as well, this is an item, it doesn't just fit the Gladiator, also fits really well on the TRX4, so I might just print an extra one to have on uh, this truck as well. Uh, and just seeing how you can spruce up the look of your truck, or even the usability of your truck using a 3D printer, to me, is still something that is really mesmerizing. Again, if you want to win one of those machines, it's over 9,000 bucks in prizes, which is crazy. Go to the link in the video description box. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. If you have not subscribed yet, please do, especially if you want to win one of those printers. If you wonder about any of the trucks that you see over here on my table today, I will make sure there are links to those as well in the video description box so you can check them out. Same goes for some of the parts that I use, like for example, wheels, tires, uh, bumpers, what have you. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.